Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to film a life update video for you all. I wanted to film this video last week, um, but I was like too upset to film it. Last week was just a really hard week for me. And as most of you guys know, I am going through a divorce. Um, if you don't know that, I will link my video down below, my last life update video. Um, you guys can watch that and I kind of explain like different stuff. Um, just go watch that. Um, but yeah, this video is just going to be like to update you guys on how I'm doing like emotionally and just to let others of you all out there know that if you're going through a divorce, like the different emotions that you're gonna go through and to just let you know that you're not alone and this is also for me so I know that I'm not alone and I know in my last life update video so many of you guys left so many just encouraging comments and I had a lot of you guys send me really encouraging emails letting me know that I'm not alone so I cannot tell you guys how much that meant to me. Um, I posted that video several like months ago. You know, there are just some days, like like I was saying, I got kind of sidetracked. Side Last week was right after my birthday, and it was so hard my birthday this year not having him here for my birthday, you know, because he's been there for my birthday for seven years, and it just felt like it really wasn't my birthday, you know, like I felt like I was just missing something and emotionally it was just so much harder on me than what I thought it would be. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, like I had a good birthday and I had a great time with like my friends and family over the weekend, but it was like just a part of me was like missing and I just felt really sad and kind of depressed and then last week, I don't know. I just faced so many different emotions last week. I guess it was just because of everything that I went through over the weekend. Not that I went through a lot of things, but like emotionally, like what I went through. Like at the beginning of last week, I felt really angry and I just didn't know why. Like I just felt rage. And you know, when you're going through a divorce, there are going to be times when you're just going to feel super angry. And it doesn't matter like what people do or like what people say. You're just going to feel really, really angry. Um, I just found like what ha what helped me last week to kind of get through my anger was to kind of like distract myself. Um, you know, like for the time being, like find a podcast, um, which I've really been getting into podcasts. Um, I'll link some if I can. I don't really know how that works. But there are some people that I really love to follow. And I'll link them down in the description box if I can figure out how to do that. Um, but, you know, I just try to listen to something uplifting like while I'm at work. Because the job that I have, like I can listen to music like while I'm working. So sometimes I'll listen to podcasts or like books or stuff like that on like audio. Um, but like that kind of helped to get me out of that really like angry mindset. Um, and then also too, like what helped me was just trying to think of the things that like I'm grateful for in my life and just whenever I get home trying to like meditate and like pray and write my journal like that really helped me get kind of past that and kind of think about why I'm angry so I can kind of like work through that emotion um so yeah I faced anger last week and not only last week but since I posted that life update like I've faced anger so many different times um, and that's kind of like my way that I cope with it. But you kind of have to let yourself be angry. If you try to suppress it, which I think that's another reason why I got so angry last week. Because like I've tried to suppress my anger. It makes it that much worse. And then it's almost like you can't handle anything. You just explode. I mean that kind of goes along with saying with being very upset. Last week, I also was very emotionally, like, upset. Like, I was just, especially last Thursday, like, I was just crying a lot. And I posted on Instagram that I was just going through, like, a lot of different things. And that's why I didn't get my video up on Friday. Um, but, yeah, I just face sadness so much. And there are just times where I feel so depressed. Like, I feel so alone in everything that I'm dealing with. Even though I know I'm not alone, it's like... In certain moments, I just feel 
Like no one on earth understands what I'm going through. And I know that you guys have really been there for me. Um, and I know I'm so grateful for all of my friends. I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your support and like continued support. Like it means the world to me. But I think like sometimes it's like your family or friends, they don't really know what to do or say and they almost get like frustrated because they want you to feel better. Um, but really the best thing that you can do, like if you have a friend or a family member that is going through divorce, like just be there for them. Like just listen to them and just let them know like it is okay to be really angry. It is okay to be really upset. You know, just kind of validate that it is okay to feel that way and like also let them know that you love them and that you want to be there for them um you know like just give them hugs like I know hugs just really make me feel better just like an ear to listen to like a shoulder to cry on um like don't make the person feel bad for being upset you know just allow them to be upset um, or angry or whatever like that is the worst thing that you can do and that just makes me feel so bad if people do that to me um, I know that people don't intentionally mean to do that or anything like that um, but yeah like when I'm upset like the best thing that I can do is just allow myself to be upset like just try to get away in a room just like cry like get it all out write in a journal or like if I'm at work and I can't write in a journal sometimes I'll just go to like the little notepad on my phone and like write out like how I'm feeling um, you know, like text a friend or call a friend. <laughs> I sound like who wants to be a millionaire. Phone a friend. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does help to talk to a friend. And, um, you know, they just really help put things like in perspective. You know, you just have like those certain friends that you know you can go to when you're really upset. And they just really put certain things in perspective for you. If you have a friend like that or, you know, a family member that's like that. Go to them and talk to them when you're really upset. It'll really help you kind of get out of that. Um, you know, always like prayer and meditation always helps. Um, you know, things like that just really help me. Another thing that has helped me tremendously with going through this divorce is not only like writing in a journal, but going to therapy. And I know that some people just, they don't want to go to therapy because they feel like, saying that you're going to see a therapist, you th you in your mind think that other people are going to think you're crazy. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now that there is nothing wrong with going and see seeing a therapist or like a counselor. I cannot tell you like how much that has helped me through this whole process. You know, it's like when you feel like you can trust a therapist, you know, somebody that you're not emotionally connected to, um, they really just help bring things in perspective for you and it's so easy for you to just dump everything on them and not feel guilty because you know like there are just times where I do want to vent to friends but I almost feel guilty to dump so much emotion on people you know and I know a lot of my friends don't care but it just makes me feel bad in a way and I know I shouldn't but yeah therapy really helps and if you're going through a divorce I highly recommend therapy um but yeah, I would say for me that anger and like depression and sadness are probably like the two biggest emotions that I face when going through this. I mean, I kind of lump like sadness, depression, and lonely loneliness like all in the same thing. Um, I don't know if some people might kind of like separate those out, but there are just times where I feel, feel so lonely and I hate that. Um, I'm trying to, you know... And it's not so much that it bothers me to be alone because don't get me wrong, like there are times where I'm so happy that I don't have to answer to anybody and I'm so glad I can just do whatever I want. But you know, there are just times where I feel like I'm missing out. Like on the weekends, if all of my friends are busy and you know, I don't really have anything to do, it just makes me feel like I'm missing out on life. And I hate that. I hate that feeling and I don't want to feel like that. Like, and I feel like fear a lot too with going through this divorce like I feel like I'm saying like a lot and I'm sorry um you know it's just like those weekends or times where I want to do something but I don't have a friend or anybody to do anything with it's not even so much that I mind to do it on my own but I'm almost too afraid to do it on my own like I'm afraid 
what if I like go somewhere and do something? And it's not like I never go anywhere and do anything. Like I go shopping on my own. I go to the grocery store on my own. Like I guess the nor I guess like the normal places where I'm used to going, I don't feel feel fearful doing those things on my own. But like I don't know, just like going and doing something just totally out of my comfort zone on my own completely terrifies me because I'm afraid something's gonna happen to me. Like I'm afraid, like, what if somebody mugs me or what if somebody kidnaps me? Like, I have all these crazy thoughts like that. And I know if you're a woman going through divorce, you probably have these same kind of thoughts and feelings. And I was talking to one of my friends and um, he was saying maybe I needed to do karate, which I don't know. Maybe that would really help me. I just I feel so intimidated to do it because I just feel like you have to be really like physically flexible and capable to do all that and I just don't feel physically like I'm not a real flexible person and I've really been slacking on working out so I feel like I would be so uncoordinated to do that plus it's like when you hear karate at least for me I just feel like it's a bunch of like younger kids learning how to do it and I, I don't know I just think like maybe I need to do karate or like self-defense classes or maybe take my conceal and carry like I don't know what to do to make myself feel more confident when I go and just do things that I don't normally do on my own because I just want to feel brave and I want to feel like I can do whatever I want in the whole world. Like if I wanted to travel to, I don't know, like New Zealand on my own, like I want to feel comfortable enough to travel on my own. Um, and I just don't feel that right now. Um, I hope one day to get there. Um, and I just want to feel comfortable too with meeting new people. I guess it's just when you're with somebody for seven years, you get so much in your routines of things. You just don't really meet a lot of new people. So you kind of lose that skill set. And I want to develop that skill set again. So yeah, I don't know. That's kind of what's going on with me right now. And I'm also living with my parents, if you guys didn't know that. I figure most of you guys that follow me know that. I've been saving up money to move out and just trying to get myself like in a financial like stability, like in a good financial place where I can move out on my own. I'm not quite there yet um, with my YouTube growing. And I just want to thank you guys so much. Like I reached 20,000 subscribers. I never thought I would ever reach that. And that's just amazing. Like I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, like with my YouTube channel growing, like it has, it's going to bring an opportunity for me to be able to take care of myself on my own. Um, cause this day and age, it is so hard to make it on like one income. Like it's so hard. And it's like YouTube is that second income for me that I desperately need. So I cannot thank you guys so much for your blessings of just being subscribed to me and like wanting to watch my videos and having a relationship with me like I cannot tell you how much it has touched my life um and I didn't even know I was going to get upset about this but it really does touch me to know that so many of you guys care about me um I just never thought that I would ever do this in all of my life like have a YouTube channel and just talk to people like around the world like I don't know it's just so crazy for me to think that I do this like you know it's like when you set up a camera and film you don't really think of all the people that you're reaching um, but I just know like it just is so meaningful to me to know that you guys support me um, so yeah like I'm getting closer to being able to move out on my own with the help of you guys and at my job I'm trying to move up so you know by the spring of next year I really want to be able to move out on my own and have my own place which I'm so excited for it and I can't wait um, you know, to move out on my own. So I hope that this video was helpful for somebody out there that is facing divorce or like going through divorce. Um, just know that you're not alone. Um, you know, you can always like send me an, a private email if there's something that you need to talk about. I get a lot of emails, so I'm sorry if I don't ever respond, but just know I try to respond back to as many of them as I can. Um, so like I'll leave my email down below if you want to send me a private message or you can leave me a comment here on this video but I can just not I just can't even express to you guys how much you mean to me um, so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video I feel like it's gonna be really really long it's probably not I feel like I say that and then you guys are like your videos aren't long you don't talk too much but 
I feel like I do. But anyway, I hope this was helpful for somebody out there. Thank you guys so much again. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.